Richard wants to know, what do the watts do in terms of the charger? Faster charging, Richard. But here's the thing, Richard. You can only charge a battery so fast before you're taking safety risks. So if you've got a battery that the safe charge rate is, say it's 50 watts. Well, it's, it's actually amps, but amps times volts equals watts. So let's say you've got a battery and the safe charge rate, here, I'll get a calculator out. We'll do some math because that always makes for a good live stream. I always like to give real numbers when I can. So let's say you've got a battery and it's a thousand milliamp hours. Now that makes the math too simple. Uh, let's say it's 1500 milliamp hours. So 1.5 amp hours. And let's say that it is a 6S battery. So let's uh, take times 3 point... Well, what's the... At full charge, it's going to be around... It's going to be 4.2 volts. Um, but it's going to slow down as it gets to the end of its charge. So what's the maximum watts it's going to be charging at? Let's say it's going to be at full, sp full speed around 4.0 volts. So, and it's a 6-cell battery. That isn't right at all. No, that's 1.5. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's 36 watts for 1C charge rate. 1.5 amps times 4.0 volts times 6 cells is 36 watts. So 1C charge rate is 36 watts. Well, that's not very many watts. Let's say you want to be really risky and you're going to charge at a 5C charge rate. Okay, 180 watts. I, I, I feel like I've done that math wrong. The 36 watts feels too low. But I, I did the math twice. And so I think, uh, I think I got it right. Anyway, so at that point, if you've got a 400 watt charger, you're not using it for anything. Let me try the math a different way. Let's say you have got 4.0 times 6 is 24 volts. Yeah, no, that's it. Times 1.5 amps is 36 watts. That's 36 watts is 1C charging. Nope, I've done the math correctly. So if you only ever charge at 1C, which is the safest thing to do, you don't. You have absolutely no reason to buy a 400 watt charger. Now, some people would say parallel charging is the answer. When you parallel charge, you add up the capacity of all the batteries. So if a 1C charge rate was 36 watts for this particular battery, and I had 10 of them on a parallel charge board, I would charge at 360 watts. Okay, that's the big reason. The only reason to have a 400 watt charger is, number one, if you parallel charge a lot of batteries at once, or if you have big honking, you know, 5, 5,000 milliamp hour, 10,000, 20,000 milliamp hour batteries for like big helicopters or electric skateboards or whatever, they can get up to 400 watt or more charging. But for typical mini quad batteries, there really isn't any, any point in having big honking chargers.